Hi friends, my name is Sami Biwaye. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install extensions. One of the major reasons why we install our composer Helen was because it allows us to install extension easily without hazard. One of the major reasons why we install Composer Helen is so that we can easily install our extension with it. And extension is a, a third party um, code written by other developer in order for you to easily build your own application. Meaning it is like a code written by other developer that for you to easily build it instead of you writing everything manually. So let's go to your official website to see some of the extension we can download or let's say one extension we can download. So I'll go to extension. So I'll go through all these and probably pick one of the extension in which I can download. Of uh, as tutorial. Now let me select this. Let me go to Patrick and V. So I will select widget file input. I will assume this is the extension I need for my project, and I want to install it. So there are two ways of running it. Either you copy and paste this in your composer.json or you copy this and install through command line. So I'm going to make use of this method for our tutorial. So we we'll open our terminal. In case you are not using PHP Storm, you can also open your terminal. Make sure the directory you currently are in your terminal is or your command line is the directory in which you have your composer.far phar. So Yeah, our extension has been successfully installed, and this is where we can confirm that now the extension we install automatically generates this to this place into our composer.json. Automatically generate this, and also in case we want to know where our extension is, it is inside the vendor. Select the vendor, we select Kartik V, and this is the file input. These are the extension that are currently installed they are currently installed so that is uh, the method one of installing um, extension in your project so let's go back to our browser to see the second method of installing so i will go back to um, our extension page and i will select another extension Let's say we want to select a widget attic form. So this is the method we use um, the first time. So I will I make, copy this for the second way of installing extension. So I'll copy this, go back to my editor, and I will need to make sure that whatever I copied is being pasted in composer.json. So I'll need to add that to it. So I added column, uh, comma, to, to the last um, extension that was installed. Then I now added, pasted the new uh, extension that I copied from the GitHub. So I will save this, and I'll come to my um, terminal and say php composer.far update. The updates, we check all of this to be sure that they are all up to date. And as well, since this has not been installed, it will now install this particular extension. So while our extension is installing, I want us to understand something. That at every extension you install, there is only documentation of how to use it. For instance, for our active form that we just, uh, we're currently installing, we have a documentation, the usage documentation yeah and this is another example and also for the file input that we copied earlier we have the user documentation here documentation this is how you make use of this you may add this at the on your view at the top of your view just to include a class then you 
make use of the code on how best you can use it. So the next thing is, um, let's go to the official website to see the documentation or demo. So use this. So this is the demo place where we can see the demo and how it works is we can select This is how it works. This is a demo, and this is how it should be working on our application. So same same thing same thing applies to the other form. So we quickly look at these two methods and quickly implement it in our project. So our extension has been successfully installed, and we have it here. Coming back to this place, we see that active active form has been installed as well. So Let's quickly see how it works on our project. So going to our project, uh, we make use of the backend. And since we already have um, this, for the multiple upload, I will use the file input in place of this. So let me quickly go to, go to this place, file input. I'll quickly copy this and We'll go to our backend, view products and multiple. Remember, we have multiple, so I need to comment this out so that if I need to comment this out, no. and paste. Copy this as well, and I'll paste it here. So I need to comment this out. So I'll use the image, and I'll say multiple. Let's see. So let's see in a browser how it works. So I'll refresh. This is undefined variable model, not model upload. Good. So let me select the image and I want to upload three image. Good. It's preview the image for before upload. In case you want to enlarge it, you can also navigate through to see each of them. So let's say I will select a capella again, and I will upload. Automatically, everything works fine. So let me go to a capella and view the list we have been it. Our image keeps increasing, and also let's go to this place. Let's select a capella. To see the images it has so these images are also also there so that's how you um, make use of extension